Hello, everyone, and welcome. We're here. It's late night. It's after hours. And it's time for a little supplemental coverage when it comes to ranking all of these 8-bit Nintendo games. Um, You know, just uh, tr- kind of trying to think about a couple of different ways to tackle the kind of longer games, the games that, you know, they're not going to, you know, you're not going to necessarily reveal themselves in in 20 minutes um you know there's a handful of those just kind of specific genres of uh games that kind of end up a little bit um in that category <clears throat> and uh maybe you know maybe we won't need the time you know that, that's uh you know we're kind of gonna do it by feel here uh but the game i have been trying to get on the list here for a little bit is a dragon warrior and um and so i am going to play some dragon warrior and well you know hey if we end up uh playing the first couple hours of dragon warrior or something there are worse ways to spend your time i assume it's been a while since i have looked at dragon warrior i uh will tell you that i have a love for a dragon warrior dragon quest if you must um and when when it first came out i was uh, was was quite taken by it and uh and played through that game a couple of times at least oh, man, i don't know i think i finished that game at least twice but it it's uh you know a lot of that memory is kind of lost to time and uh you know it's sort of it's been a long time i tried playing a little bit of dragon warrior last year and uh my memories of that session well well, we'll see how it goes. As you see here, we have the list. 146 games currently populate the list, uh, all the way from Circus Caper up to Super Mario Brothers. Uh, and a lot of games in between. Where will Dragon Warrior fare? I, I really don't I really don't know. I, this is a weird one. This and, and it's kind of why I wanted to devote a little bit of extra time to it uh, here um, as kind of a test to see if this format makes more sense for some of these games to try to you know like fit them in on, on the in nights and weekends and some of these these longer ones that you know because let's uh, let's face it yeah uh, Jackie Chan's action kung fu doesn't need two hours of time to reveal itself. Um, and also, you know, it, it, we this kind of works out because, like I said, I have spent dozens of hours or, well, I don't know, a lot of hours playing Dragon Warrior over the years. So, you know, uh, having having that in my back pocket kind of helps uh, to kind of uh, shorten a bit of this process, right? So, so yeah, uh, without further ado, I suppose, uh, thanks to Battle Cow 2020 for... Dropping some gift subs on the live chat. Uh, and for Vec of the Lost for resubscribing. Mm, uh, all right. Let's get into some video games. Let's go over here. I reinstalled this whole thing today because it was giving me trouble. Hopefully I didn't break it in the process, but uh, we'll find out together. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see if this is the right revision. Feels good so far. Though a little shrill, perhaps? <clears throat> From your friends at Enix. Remember them? You know, the Dragon Warrior people. Whatever happened to them? Whatever happened to Dragon Warrior? It's just gone now. I don't know. This must not have been very popular, I guess. I don't know. Just... 
Can I just uh, not enter anything? What does that do? We're gonna go with fast message speed. Descendant of Erdick. All right, it's told in ages past, uh, Erdrick fought demons with a ball of light. Then came the Dragon Lord, who stole the precious globe and hid it in the darkness. Now, oh, that's not good. That's not good that they let you enter nothing and then don't have a default name. I mean, hey, it was 86 and or 89. But, uh, that, it feels like that should, it should just block you from, uh... I'll even put in lowercase. Okay. Once more from the top. Uh, Erdick, right, got it. Ball of Light, Dragon Lord. Thou must help us recover the ball of light and restore peace to our land. The Dragon Lord must the Dragon Lord must be defeated. Take now whatever thou may find in these treasure chests to aid thee in thy quest. Then talk to the guards, because they I don't know, they know some shit. This is uh so yeah. I think the interface is going to be the big thing here that really sticks out. Uh, take. Fortune smiles upon thee. Thou hast found the magic key. There's a, uh, yeah, well, we'll get this stuff. Oh, we found a torch. Great. Of gold, thou hast gained 120. The, I, I, I don't, I guess off the bat here, I'm saying, I'm going to say I don't really love the localization. Or the, you know, the, the, the way they have written it, all the thous and these and, and everything feel very, they feel very thrown in. Like it doesn't feel consistent with the rest of the language. East of this castle is a town where armor, weapons, and many other items may be purchased. Return to the inn for a rest if thou art wounded in battle. Um, sleep heals all. Bullshit. No. Half a year now hath passed since the princess was kidnapped by the enemy. Never does the king speak of it. <sighs> the, the guy who runs the city never talks about it, but Red Ring Rico is his daughter and missing and and if you if you're down on Pioneer 2, if you could just If you've collected all the treasure chests, a key will be found. Once you use the key will disappear. But the door will be open and thou may pass through. Alright, I talked to everybody. Yeah, I I um I'm, I'm just can I be your queen? So there's a thing that this game does with its movement where it lets you change direction without moving forward. And if you stop long enough for that menu, this little like hit points indicator and stuff to pop up, the time it takes you to get moving again feels interminable. <laughs> it's like, come on, walk out of the way. And like, no one's, okay, does he still walk when I stop? Okay, get out of the way of the door. You know, and and obviously these menus I think are going to be a very big talking point here when we when we discuss this game, right? Where you've got a door button, a stairs button, a search and a take, and and you know this was 
you know, before the idea of a multi-use button, just like, hey, if you get over a thing and hit the A button, it'll do the thing that you probably want to do. Um, King Lorik will record thy deeds in his Imperial Scroll, so thou may return to thy quest later. I am planning to take a rest. Let's go see. Does that count as me preparing to leave? What, what's the scoop here, King Man? Okay. That must gain seven points. I will tell you of my deeds. All right, the Imperial Scrolls of Honor. I, will, I wish to continue my quest. I will not tempt the fates. Thank you. Um, yeah, so, you know, this, again, this is, um... These games, role-playing games, uh, the early ones on computers and such, they made the controls highly specific in a lot of ways, you know? Um, ugh. There was a time when uh, Bregonary was a paradise, then the Dragon Lord's minions came. you got in here? Oh, thou hast not a key to use. Uh-huh. Okay, we must battle many foes. Okay, I will battle many foes if that's what it takes. What are you guys down here doing? Oh, uh, you're merchants. Okay, are you selling anything? No? Aren't you just merchants who are hanging out over here by this water? You know, this tile-based whole thing that it has going, and, and you know, the, they, they managed to make this castle look like it has a fountain in the middle of it. You know, use your imagination to fill in the, like, oh, look at that, a little, you know, it's like a little fountain here in the... Like, you're almost surprised that when you step on the town, it goes into the town. You don't have to go into a menu and hit a button marked town. North of the shore, and then west until you reach Garenham. Okay. Alright, we don't have any, uh... We don't have anything. I forget what the move is here. You get the club. You get the club and the clothes, right? Or do you get the leather armor and the pole? I think you get the club and the clothes. I thank thee. Or do I just, I save up 10. I go out here and I, I go out here and I slum it with no clothes on until I get 10 more gold. Wait, does it automatically, okay. It automatically is equipped. Yeah, so no like real equip menu per se and. We've got an inn over here. What else is there? Hast thou any proof? There's a town where magic keys can be purchased. Like, imagine just like you walk into someone's house and you're like, what's up, man? He goes, there's a town where magic keys can be purchased. a good story for if, if thou art cursed come again thou has not a key to use all right uh well let's go out with this club and fucking bop slimes until we get 70 gold right that's the the, the basic idea 
This is a jam. Are they only attacking the trees? I thought they attacked on the flatlands too. Excellent move. All right. Oh, shit. I got jumped. I need six more gold. So I can go back to talk to that wizard at the castle to get my hit points back, right? Is that that's that guy when the when the screen flashes? Is he giving me back just MP or is he giving me well, I guess we'll find out. Let's go find out. That's good to know before we get any too far down this uh, road of uh this 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 hot plan. That's only, that's, that's, we need, does the king refill your HP without having to go to an inn? Because you have to pay money at the end, right? Okay, well, we just have to, you know, not die. I keep going to, st I keep going to door. The inn in the starting town is only six gold, but that's, uh, the whole point is I'm trying to get ten gold to buy. Uh, to buy armor. gold. We have 8 HP to get it in. Gotta get it in. Oh, fuck. We're like, actually, I'm actually fucked here, right? I'm like, this is, that's, this is bad. Can I, uh, yeah, okay. I guess we get to Nine gold. <laughs> well, we'll level up here. I mean, you know, hey, like eventually I'm gonna I'm gonna level, and this will all work out one way or the other. If we if we just smash our heads against this hard enough, eventually everything will be fine. Like I, you know, used to just sit here and gain like two or three levels before doing much else. All right, we're just gonna.
Ba -da 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 -ba -ba -ba. Courage and wit to serve thee, serve thee well. Now it's been promoted to the next level. Thy power increases by one. Seven extra hit points. All right, we're this. This is this problem is solved. Uh, it's it, it said the king said to return to him after you level. You don't get anything extra for doing that, do you? I guess let's find out. Oh, the movement is bad. I, I the the movement feels fucking terrible. Like there's a lot of stuff that I think you know. All of it comes out when you try to look at it. When, when you when you try to remind yourself when this game came out and how big of a deal this game is and, and all of that sort of stuff. Um, okay, this is just... I just need five gold. And I'm more powerful now, so maybe, well, yeah, let's find out. Let's find out if I can just, uh, if I can one-shot any of these slimes. Or if I'm just, uh... Do I got, do I got anything for you now that I'm... No, no, this is, uh... Oh, fuck me. Let's go rest at the inn and we'll just, we'll, we'll grind, we'll, we'll grind a little more here. Right? I mean, I guess we gotta... Can I just like, like, I don't know. Can I whack a dude off for six gold or something? Like, you know, I feel like modern RPGs would would let me do something like that, you know? Persona 5, famous for. Still not tough enough to one-shot uh, a red slime. Just need nine gold. Just need seven gold. Yeah, I, th I probably spent hours just in this, like, little patch of grass, like, here, just, like, doing this uh, when I would play this game. I, you know, I, I didn't necessarily mind the grind because I liked the idea of being overpowered for a lot of the rest of the game. And so, you know, back when I had that type of patience, which I certainly do not have now, um... You know, th this is the sort of stuff that, you know, when, when people talk about why they don't play these games. Random encounters. Having to grind. Uh, you know, th these are some of the reasons why people, I think, shy away from the genre. And the genre is, is obviously, like... It's come a long way. Um... when it comes to just, like, being better about that stuff. And even when, you know, sometimes when these games get re-released, if they aren't tweaking them because they're doing a full-on remaster or, or whatever, you'll see things like, oh, we've increased the walk speed, or we've, um, we, you know, we, we toggled a thing that reduced the encounter rate, or, you know, like, you see little bits and pieces of, the, you know, them trying to tweak the games to make them a little more palatable to a modern audience. I think that's fine. Um, obviously not, that wouldn't work for what we're doing here, right? You know, we want to see this game in all of its glory. Um, I 
All right, let's go buy whatever the fuck it was we were saving up for. I mean, random encounters make sense from a, you know, like, a, it, it's fewer moving sprites on screen. If you are developing the game and have to worry about that, it's it's less it's less you have to fucking do. It's just like you're just rolling dice in the background. Um, it, it makes sense in terms of like, you're on an adventure and yo, you got fucking jumped. It's rough out there. There are monsters. It's fucked. Adventure, like people are getting jumped left and right out here. It's why it's so dangerous. It's why you're an adventurer and not a merchant. The merchants are out here getting fucked. Leather armor. Oh, yes. What else do you got? You got a sword for 180 and a small shield for 90. All right. Nothing wrong with a little randomness, you know, in, in a game, right? I mean, it's fine. But, uh... I'll double check, but I didn't. I did not have to equip the club because this game does not have an equip menu. <laughs> Oops, no, not stairs. Status. Yeah, see. Probably still too low level to be doing this. cave. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Turns out it's dark. This music is not great. Eh, it's okay. I do have a torch, um, but I'm probably not quite ready to go do that. That's right. See now, now, now it's happening. Should I go see how much it is to level up? Nah, fuck it. Let's just, let's just get out here and fight. And then we got a cave down here. No, no real movement here. Response speed. Word. talk it's, it's crazy that again like this game gives you nothing man like i leveled and did not get all my hit points back it did not refill my mp even though i now have mp it's just like no man that's the so there are two types of role-playing games if, you, if we really want to break it down there are two types of role-playing games and there's one that i can like and one that i will probably never like Or that I would find it significantly harder to like. One is a game where any status effect you have resolves itself automatically at the end of a fight. 
And one is one where you gotta fucking carry around a bunch of bullshit to resolve status effects in case you end up getting, get, like, having to deal with it out of a fight. There are two types. I just don't, I just don't like dealing with, I don't, upkeep, upkeep on a character and all of that stuff, I just don't want to fucking do it, man. And I never have. Like, that, that's the, the status effect stuff has always been. Um... I've, I've always I've always had something of a bone to pick with that, just conceptually. No, I'm not in a reality sort of sense, but in a, just, again, in a, I don't fucking want to do this sort of way. Um, and I've felt that way since since this game was new, like since the since I started playing. Role-playing games made in Japan. Let's say. Like, I don't want to plan. I, I want to get out here and fuck shit up. And, and that's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I guess I can... Hey, I can... Hey... I was like, how much does the heal spell heal for? It does quite well, actually, except I can only cast it once. Two and two, man, fuck, that wasn't even worth it. Totally, yeah, automatically feel me, uh, uh, heal me back to full HP between fights and then make each encounter crazy in its own weird way. Like that, yeah, that's, that's sure. Healing potions and, so, like, healing outside, or, like, uh, or, um... Games that leave your party members dead if they die in a fight, as opposed to like, oh, they've been revived with one HP and now you need to heal them the rest of the way, which is like a kind thing. Like, okay, now I gotta go into this menu, I gotta find the fucking spell to bring them back to life, and oh, it revived them with not enough HP, so now I need to go in here and get to this other spell and do that. It's just, it's an upkeep thing, man. Alex Asterix says, For me, I think it makes sense to keep them dead when revives are expensive. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, yes, I mean, that's a valid way to design a game. I'm not saying that, like, and you know, I'm, I'm... What I'm saying is, if revives are expensive, I don't want to play that fucking game. Thy experience increases by one if you are joining, if you are just joining the stream. We've been, uh, for, for those of you watching an archive, we've been raided. Uh, we're not, we're not, unfortunately, we're not doing, you know, that, the, the Seb Mall guy, uh, I know he was playing his Mr. Do games and his, as a whatever other clown games he's into. Um, we're out here playing real video games. Dragon Warrior. So what do we say? We get to like level three, but like maybe I save up enough for the shield and then we break out of here? Is that the... Is that the... That's probably the move. I think that's probably what we'll do here. So far, I'm having a, a fine time with this. I don't know. We're walking in circles and fighting shit. Either crit on the first attack or don't crit, man. Don't do me like that. Like, oh, on the last hit where you're going to kill him no matter what, you did nine...
chun 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 chun. You know, it's like a real ripping. Get Dragon Force. To no. It's, it's like the funny thing about random encounters. Also, is like when you find yourself walking around like that, going, "What the fuck? Come on." the last Dragon Quest game I played. I played some of, um... Whatever the last one was. <laughs> was that ele Was that 11? Yeah. Uh, that game was cool. I, I played... I, I, I played way more of that than I thought I would, but then just got to a point with it where I was just like, I... I don't want it. This is too much. Too much, man. Not enough puff puff. A little too much of everything else. I assume next we go north and then west, uh, which is what the guy in town said. There was another town up north and to the west, so... I assume that's our next stop. What are we... What are we doing on gold? 45? Oh, we're halfway there. <laughs> halfway to a shield. like you want to believe some like Zelda 2 type shit like oh they're gonna jump me more in the forest than they are on the road but I, I don't I don't know that that's actually true or not you're like oh let's go in here there'll be some different monsters out here you're like no you just kind of move slower maybe it's yeah maybe it's true I don't know it's ba -ba 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 -ba. yeah my courage and wit and ability to walk in a circle has increased my response speed. What's our new spell? Hurt. It's my knuckle tats. Uh, weirdly enough. Wouldn't that be crazy if I held up my knuckles and it just magically said heal and hurt on them? If I had that level of prep for this stream and I was like, check this shit out. That would have been good. Alas. Yeah, I don't keep a sharpie at the desk. I, uh, it's, uh, the pens in this house uh, uh, fucking disappear at a moment's notice, man. I, I have a pen. I had to go open a bank account recently. Turns out running a business, you gotta do shit like that. And the only pen I, pen I have is the one I stole from the fucking bank. I didn't even steal it. He gave it to me. He's like, oh, you can keep the pen. I'm like, man, I wanted to steal it. I was bummed when he said I could keep the pen. I had a whole plan about how I was going to steal that pen. It's not even that the kids take the pens. It's just we, I don't, you know, like, so we have to sign something. I got to write a check and then the pen is gone. Or, you know, my wife needs a pen to just, we're sending out Christmas cards. She's like, where the fuck are the pens? I'm like, I, Here's the one I stole from the bank, but you have to give it back to me as soon as we as soon as we're done. My pen. At one point, I bought a, a ton of pens. I went to the internet and I said, 
ship me two days two days in two days i want a, as many pens as i've ever seen in my life and i don't know what happened to that bag of pens they were nice pens gone now talk is probably fascinating no like you don't like you don't want to engage in like discussion of pens online because you know like anything there are uh, just a bunch of people that are fucking super weird about pens and they have like very specific like no this one is like pen weirdos are uh they're weirdos good on them you know like everyone's got to be into something They're into pens. I'm into fucking. No, I don't know what. Uh, sorry. is getting clipped. Oh. Apparently I did not finish the job on this one here, huh? We need 20 gold. The question is, uh, will you be ranking prototypes or only things officially released in the era? No, with no prototypes. We're going to do unlicensed games that were released. Uh, in the in the appropriate time frame, uh, but that's as as weird as we're getting. We're sticking to North American uh, releases. We've already done a few unlicensed games like Tubin and Chiller. Master Chew and the Drunkard Hugh? Who? Hugh? Hugh. The world looks so different when you're low on health. That's just real. This is how I've felt lately. I have felt like all the text boxes around me are red. And thus, all the buildings are also red all the time. That's how the last few months have felt. Around these parts. up, man. Have that shield in no time. Really cutting it close here. You know, there's... 
if I were just playing this game to play this game, I think what I would probably do is turn on some cheat codes for infinite HP and probably just set myself to max level just to kind of make combat a cakewalk and just like do a little content tour through the game. You know, just like, what do you, because like, I remember what the final boss confrontation looks like and, uh, you know, the general feel of this game, but like the story of like what you do from here to there, like what plot points are in the middle of it. It's just like, I don't know. Like, are there any, like you just fucking walk to the next town and talk to people and they're like the princess is like, I assume that, yeah, it's, it's just, I don't remember any kind of like plot points, but I assume that's the thing. Like it just sets you like, you know, Hey, it was 86. Like, Hey man, you gotta be the dragon Lord. Also the princess is missing. So if you could find her, maybe she's with the dragon Lord, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Who could say? Alright. Small shield. Just buying it just in time to walk to a another town that's gonna have better shit and do this all over again, right? Is that the Is that the general? You know, the, the thing I'll say is that uh, for 86, this is a big deal. For 89, when it came out, still, still a big deal, but so rapidly surpassed in terms of just modern. I mean, you know, even what passed for modern convenience then, I'm not talking about the things they do to these games today. Um, Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, right. We're gonna. What are we gonna do? We're gonna get our. And yeah, this game. They made this game free for Nintendo Power subscribers at some point. That's not how I got it. I. I'm pretty sure I bought it. Which is weird because I was subscribed to Nintendo Power, but I, yeah, I just don't remember. Talk. No, do not talk to the stairs. So there was that one guy in that town that said something about going north until we hit the sea. And then uh, going west until we hit a town. So let's do that. We'll walk past that cave for now. And uh, see, see what we can do. See what we can find. Oh, fuck you. go. Rip them up. Club them. Club them. I mean, we could just wander around and save up the 180 gold for that copper sword. I mean, you know, it's... are you fucking serious? Fucking guys. 
Ghost. I, you know, good enemy graphics for its time, you know? Like, uh, you... I just, I'm just getting effed here, man. This is wild. So many encounters in a row. Oh, man. Oh, yeah? Many believe she's in a cave. Really? Nope. I don't... I... I don't like that. <laughs> I don't... We don't need a Nestor reference in a... Okay. What you got? Tools. What's a dragon scale do? Herbs. Yeah, we gotta. Do we find Nestor in a cave and kill him? Let's hope. That motherfucker. Eastward. Okay, well, we can't go west, so that. I believe it. Hand axe. Man, you got wild shit here. This is pricey. The dragon scale just sits in your inventory and gives you a, def a defense bonus? Really? Alright. Well, I can afford that, right? Get out of the goddamn way, old man. buy a bunch of them and defense up each time, or do I use them? Dragon scales bugs, you can equip and then sell it, and then you keep the bonus to defense. Power 14. Well, this is revision one. They might have fixed it in, in this revision. I don't know. I mean, do I need to do this? Does it, do I need to sell it? Does it matter? I mean, if I just keep it, I'll just keep it, right? Now let's find out. Yep, still says 14. Okay. It said to head east, but also, like, every everything there is super expensive. Oh, this fucker. This, he seems like a bad dude. You know, he's like, got his fucking uh, he's cape, you know, his, his rags and his hood and all that. I'm, I can chant a spell as well. Now what, punk ass? Oh, 
Oh, what a dick. That's bad. This is bad. Not worth it. Let's find out here how much damage hurt does. That takes that looked like it took two MP where a heal takes four. If I was counting that right. Twenty fucking five fucking Are you fucking with me, man? I seem to have spent a good night. Jesus Christ. I don't even have a fucking key to get in here. I mean, let's see what's in the cave. We gotta know, right? Or should I go back to save? It, like, I guess the world has to be small enough. Cavalry as follows. What the fuck are you doing down here, dumbass? Three items were needed to reach the Isle of Dragons. Just south of Breconary. Okay. Now I'm all three items. Three worthy keepers, their descendants will protect the items until thy quest leads thee to seek, to seek them out. Alright, we'll find the three items and, uh... Really, all the, that's probably all that's here, huh? Yeah, the choice to do good the old English thing, I, I think, is uh, kind of a mistake. I like the slightly lower pitch as you go lower into the dungeon. Also, I can only save at the at the castle, right?
So I have to walk all the fucking way back to the beginning of the game to save. These are some nonsense choices that, like, you know, are, are uh, if I remember correctly, this game ends up not being massive in scale, right? It's, uh, certainly bigger than the average game of its era. Oh, that's right, this game had passwords in Japan. That's right, yeah. It wasn't even like a battery game. It's crazy. Well, wait, let's... Since this fucking guy's here... Yeah, the, the, just the very idea of, of the way this menu is constructed. Yeah, it's stuff that probably makes more sense on an MSX or something where perhaps you are using a keyboard for some of this. Um, but it's just such a, like, like these choices. These choices are a struggle. And, uh, you know, again, I, I think that the, the genre improved, right? You know, we, we got started getting these kind of multi-purpose action button type things. Is there anything more in the castle? Like, if I walk all the way around, is there... Like, I seem to remember there being some shit... Uh, maybe I just don't have the... Yeah. Oh, yeah? Can I get to this dude? Not that way, anyway. Alright, uh... Alright, well, we only need seven points to level, and that'll be good, and... Let's go east, like they said. Right, this bridge is over here. But yeah, I think when you look at Ultima and when, when you look at some of the role-playing games that were on computers prior to this, um, it, it, you start to understand why this game was this way uh, in terms of the, the menus and some of the other stuff uh, that it does. Just because a lot of the role-playing games that came before it were also like that. But I feel like I should be, like, grinding for gear before I do any of this stuff. Like, I feel like I'm going too far. You take damage when you walk on that shit, don't you? Uh-oh. Yeah! No. Yeah! I'm probably not supposed to be here yet. <laughs> but it said go east, so I just, I don't know, I got all excited and kept going east, but I, I, I feel like there's something on this kind of second. Right? You, you take damage on this. Yes, you do. Yes. Oh, that's right. Suck it, ghost. Yeah, 
It's wild over here. Yeah, this is, that's just like a, is a fast way. Like now I'm back on the other side of the bridge, right? Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, let's walk back and fucking refill since we're pretty close to base. That's right. Fear me. But yeah, I guess that's the only real lead is to go east, which I guess makes sense because there's a landmass. I mean, you know, I was, I was all the way west, so I can really only go east. Uh, spell heal. Oh yeah, that asshole in town, does he, is, is that tablet actually do anything? That would be cool. I wouldn't expect it to actually do anything, but maybe, yeah, well, let's go. I'm having a good time with this. Uh, I think it looks, oh, like it looks nice, but it's very basic. And, uh, I don't know, like, the presentation is, is really good for its era. I think the music still holds up in a lot of ways, which, again, the soundtrack's a little, a little basic, instrument-wise and, and whatnot, but, like, these are classic melodies for a reason. It was one of these fuckers, wasn't it? Yeah. No, there's, there's nothing to... Nothing to do with that guy. We need keys to open stuff like that. What do you, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh. Lloyd. Jeff. All of them. And there's nothing, there's no, this is just all, yeah, this is all closed in, so there's no way that way. But, like, with the amount of expensive stuff in that town to the northwest, like, I... They, they really must have expected you to just fucking grind, right? You get to that second town, and it's like, yo, man, we got shit here that's like 800 fucking gold. And you're like, really?
Like, is there a ten? Okay, that's that's where I walked back across. So. But is there really nothing? Can I get on the other side of these mountains? Doesn't look like it. No, not there. It's like this kind of second bridged area is just sort of empty. And then you eventually go down, like that's where you go to get to the end of the game, right? Don't you, I think you go down around that way. Oh. Dreadful is the South Island. Hawksness, there's a town where one may purchase weapons of extraordinary quality. Guy standing in the armor shop saying, you want good shit, man. Fucking go east of this Hawksness town that you don't know about. That's where the real shit is. Out here? Pfft. This is fucked. Like, I'm just fucked. I guess I gotta save up for that copper sword one way or the other, huh? Like, I should almost just be over by that other town. Grinding. And I can't... None of these doors are free to open, right? There's not, they're all... Yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, I have rheumatism, so let me in here. What's up with... This is, this is a scam, right? This is going to be like... Thou shouldst come here again. Twenty. Okay. All right. Okay. Twenty. For as far away as I am, it seems like a reasonable rate. Like, seriously, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, this shit is so expensive. Like, do I just need to grind out another fucking hundred fucking gold and, and get this copper sword, right? It's, it's, everything else is so much more money. But 
that it's like you have to hope that like the prices are different later, but the copper sword has been 180 the entire time, so I assume that the item prices don't necessarily change. But this game, yeah, if you're not grinding, what are you doing? That's this whole game, right? There's no... What's up here? Is there anything up there? magician. I feel like I gotta figure out, like it was, it was I it was somewhere around 20. Maybe it was, in fact, just 20. Am I making a huge mistake? Yeah, okay. Kind of a featureless world, also. There's just not a lot here. Okay, apparently that guy had 12 hit points. Nothing else over here. We're gonna have to go... We're gonna have to go sleep again. <laughs> Dicey. Ever so slightly. I mean, what, you know, what am I going to... Like, am I going to just be like, well, got to save up 3,000? Like, do I just sit here and just fucking grind for 3,000 gold? That's probably what, I, you know, honestly, like at this point, if I were just playing this game and we weren't, you know, just playing it to rank it or whatever, I would probably just say, well, fuck it. I'm just going to, I'm going to commit to the, th the that grind. I'll level up a bunch. But yeah, if I were just playing this on my own just to kind of check it out, I would have I would have cheated gold by now uh, and probably HP and MP. Legendary, uh, but... Ultimately, you know, perhaps a little thin. I guess it looks like there should be something here. Uh oh, there is human bones that move on their own.
Well, fuck. Do we try to run? Do I hope that one more... Kurt will do it? Do I heal in the hopes that maybe he does a, an attack that doesn't hit as hard? Like, what do I lose if I go back? Do I, don't, do I lose XP or do I just lose all my gold? Lose half your gold. But, like, I don't lose XP or anything like that. So that... Oh, all right. Well... That's less of a big deal, I guess. I don't know. We're close to that. I do want that sword. But a motherfucker this bad, he ain't gonna let me run away. <laughs> I can't even do this, man. We gotta fucking go. was a very narrow fucking escape. <laughs> that's good. That's a good, that's good tension, you know? Yeah, hopefully this sword helps because I, I feel like we, we have to lean so hard on um, hurt and we just don't have the MP to fucking have to be in enough encounters to really do this, you know? There we go. That'll help. I was just thinking, eh, we probably... Probably pretty close to level in here, and yeah, here we are. You motherfucker. enough for the sword. Wait, so do I... Do, will it auto-sell the club, or do I sell the club? Well, I guess I can't... Well, I, no, wrong. Wrong person. Hand axe is the next thing at 560, uh, unless you want to save up for armor, but 
Might as well use my club money to sleep. Okay, so... That one guy was talking about a town with the good weapons, and he said it was east of another town. We, we have not been to Hawksness. This is with Koi or Coal or whatever, right? Alright, nothing that way. These fuckers. What kind of damage we do now? Six. Fucking six. I mean, Hurt did seven, so it's not like I'm... There we go. I have 16 gold, it doesn't matter. Like, like murder me, I don't... I feel like now I need to go back and go to sleep again. Because I just burned every resource fighting one fucking skeleton. Like, yeah, I could use heal, but also I'll need all that to cast hurts, too. So I guess maybe the sword, if the sword is doing as much damage as, as hurt or getting in that range, then I won't have to rely on it as much. That's better. All right. All right, we just need 560 for a fucking hand axe. Keep moving up the chain. That's some bullshit right there. All right, I can handle a uh, four... God, man. What's my max? 4 There's got to be something up here, right? Hey, all right. Oh, I don't have a torch. Oh, good. Okay. What a what a god. A silver harp that beckons to the creatures of the dragon lord. Bring this to me. I'll give you the staff of rain. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so there's more to it than just, like, level up and then buy weapons and then go fight the end boss, you know? You gotta go... I gotta go find a fucking harp now, apparently. isn't great. Well, if he's only hit me for three, then I can... I feel like I can I can make this trade for a while and feel okay about it. If he's not hitting me for like ten or whatever like he was before. That's just from leveling, though. That's I, I don't have new armor. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, it's nice that the screen doesn't black out. Um, and then show up in a window that it keeps the, the world map behind you. Like, it's very fast in and out of the encounters, which is cool. 
Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, undeniably, I, th I think a lot of this game is, is pretty fucking rough. To come back to, I, I mean, you know, I, I think this game is legendary. Like I said, I, I love, I loved this game. I gotta not, I gotta not fuck around like this. Yeah, I might as well just go pay. Because the amount of MP it would take to heal up leaves me with not enough MP to heal in the field for when shit goes bad. Give this man his money. Like, okay, if there's other shit I'm supposed to find. Uh, the one thing I was thinking is, like, do I go into that... There's the little uh, forest over there. In the de middle of the desert where we fought that skeleton man. Um, and I was thinking, what if I use the search function while I'm there? Will that do anything? I'm guessing probably not, but... Or if that was going to work, then someone would have, you know, I would, I would have encountered someone who would have said that. Excellent move. So there's a cave down there at the bottom of all that shit. Does that is that what I need to do? Is trudge through that shit, go in there. I mean, it's kind of the only other place to, that I can go. It doesn't seem like there's much else on the map right now. Go back and save. One slime at a time, baby. I mean, I need torches and shit, too, if we're gonna go fuck around. Uh, I think it was that second town where they had a tool shop. That's where I bought the dragon scale. And they had torches and herbs there. torches run out, or do they last the, for the entire duration of you being in a single dungeon? That's my, my actual question. They run out? Fucking dicks. It's so shitty of them to do that. Ugh. Yeah, 
Yes, I will tell me now of my deeds. I went and I punched a scorpion. I, I, uh, I bought a sword. Do you have any money? Okay, I guess not, huh? Does Kingdom have anything, you know, like, like that I could... You gave me 120 gold and said, hit the bricks, kid. <laughs> yeah, nothing else over here until I can get that door. Oh, okay, and then that leads out there to whatever the fuck that dude's doing. Alright. We just need a bunch of keys. I'm told that there's a town where you can purchase keys. What else is over here, though? I mean, there's gotta be something, right? I like that I don't give a fuck about these ghosts anymore. I feel like, you know, like, we've made uh, a meaningful increase in strength over, like, you know, the first couple hours here, where we're one-shotting stuff in the starting area. That at least, like, feels good. So there's this town over here. This is the tools town. Stab this motherfucker in his hat. What kind of ghost wears a fucking hat? A witch's hat too. Are you are you a ghost of a witch? What the fuck's going on? I don't fucking trust that shit. I like the torches are only eight. by four torches. I don't know. Never heard of him. Chainmail. Okay, so there is another piece of armor that's one step up, and large shield is 800, which is before half plate, so... Okay. So on our way to Hand Axe, we would probably get Chain Mail first. If we really want to buy every single item up the fucking tree and... It's a ghost. Another area of bad shit.
Not an amazing spot to be in. Is there another town over here? Nope. Oh boy. Okay. Is there maybe a town to the south that I could go and stay in an inn? What do we think? Is there a town down here? Or just that fucking dungeon? I get jumped and something fucking bad happens. I mean, at this point, I should just go back to the fucking starting town, right? Can I? No, I can't do that. I have to go all the way around to do that, don't I? Right? I, this doesn't go through, right? Um, no, no, it does. Okay, so I can... I can go back and heal myself the old-fashioned way by standing in front of the wizard and... Let him talk about how much I'm coming. Oh, fuck. It is dodging! talk to you. We need to cast some spells here in front of you. And then we need to talk to you again. And then we need to go talk to the king to save the game. Eighty-seven points, that's doable. I don't know. I feel like I uh, am pretty close to being where I need to be to put this game on the list. Um But I'll head back over into that I guess that's I guess that's southern area? I you know. very least at least there's like solid fights here and it's close to the castle so i have to walk all the way over to that stuff in the east to fight scorpions yeah it would be ideal to not die at this point because i'm two-thirds of the way to the the next armor
It's fucked up, man. You just fucking snuck up on my ass and cast a spell. It's cold. No, it's hurt. Sorry, not cold. Different. Seems like a highly questionable idea to do right now. I guess, you know, hey, you, you could have bought herbs. I could have bought herbs. You know, if I wanted to be able to be out here longer and heal more and not uh, burn through all my MP. But when you're always saving up for something, like you're kind of just fucking at the mercy of everything. And this sucks. I'm sorry. This is just fucking... There's a flying slug creature. What the... We're f this seems... And then it's still fucked out here. Oh, it was a magic one. I should have run. Eh, alright. Okay. As long as this... Oh, it is dodging! I've made a horrible fucking tactical error. Faster to go back. Well, it's, it's lesser enemies if I go this way. So, I guess the, uh... Uh... Don't go in the cave until you, uh... Until you've at least bought the next armor, huh?
But yeah, you know, hey, um, this is a fucking cool game, man, but... Uh, legendary. Again, as I keep saying, legendary. With, without it, the genre would not exist in the way that it does today. Um, at the same time, it's a hard one to go back to because of a lot of the menu stuff and the movement stuff. And, and it's just a very... It's a very straightforward thing. Um, and that's not necessarily a, a bad thing. It, it's it's for its era. That's totally fucking fine. Um, but no, man, <laughs> this is you don't want it. This is the thing you want to come back to, and <laughs> at least not in this form, right? I know they released it uh, in plenty of other formats over the years, and did make some quality of life changes that. Uh, that I'm sure make it, um, if not more enjoyable than more tolerable, for sure. Um, let's just grind out that last 20 gold over here. <laughs> and then we'll buy that chain mail and then try to go back to that cave, I guess, and see if we fare any better, but I, I don't know. Uh, The, the way the caves are of, of like, with their, you know, the torches being as shitty as they are, I, I think really sucks. I think that aspect of this game is, is really, really shitty. And you get a spell that lights things up, and doesn't that, isn't that a better light than the torch? I can't remember, um, but I, I seem to remember there being a way to light up a little bit more, but they're not being... But it's still not, like, it's still not what you want. No, we're not here for tools. No, nope, we're not here for the inn either, dumbass. for that chain mail. Sure, 35 gold. Yeah, maybe we get a maybe we get an herb for the road. how much he hits for. Fuck. Magic damage. Not reduced at all. By my fucking chain mail. I'm out here walking around like Scott Steiner just taking it in the fucking face from spells. We gotta know, right? We gotta fight a skeleton. No. Uh, Take it. 
I don't like being at 22 hit points. That's not a good... Oh, fuck me, man. That's why I don't like being at 22 hit points, because then suddenly I'm at 17, and then suddenly we're at 12, and then suddenly we're just getting reamed. I mean, even getting to the cave has drained almost all of our fucking MP. <laughs> Okay. Just terrible. This is just, a, like, a miserable experience with this stuff. With the... And, and, you know, a lot of different games do light differently in their dungeons and try to do stuff like this, but it just fucking sucks, dude. Come on, walk on there. All right, there's, oh, well. Oh, a warlock, I'm sure that'll be fine. This is, this is probably no problem with this, right? Oh yeah, thou art asleep. Thou art still asleep. Good, but it doesn't help. Uh, what's the new spell? Sleep. All right, figures. Oh fuck me! God damn! Oh Jesus Christ! I I liked the enemy designs for a while, but this thing looks like shit. Think about the iconic enemies like the slime and the and the you know the ghost and the magician. Now look at this dumb fucking thing. This dumb fucking thing's gonna kill me, isn't it? Another fucking ha funny ha ha staircase that takes us nowhere. You assholes. Seventeen hit points, one MP, and I have an herb. Like I can't like I cannot in good faith fucking stay here. Maybe that was not the move. Maybe the move was to run there, but... We've got the herb if things get truly... fucking desperate, but... We're over the bridge, so... So I don't think we'll need it.
Yeah, so it looks like really the thing to do here uh, at this point is fucking grind my ass off for another couple of uh, levels and uh, another couple of item upgrades. And, uh... That's, uh... That's a bridge too far, my friends. So we'll heal up for posterity, because you never know. One day I'm going to wake up and be like, hey, I got that Dragon Warrior save. But we'll heal up, we'll go save. And then we'll put this game on a list. Three hundred and eighteen points. I will tell me of uh, those deeds, but uh, rest then for a while. Oh, hang on, let me. <clears throat> Remember this? This is probably something they had to add in the the because this is the Rev One version of the cart. I'm guessing my my guess is that on the original version of the cart, it did not say this. I rarely did this. It always said to do it, but I just turned the fucking power off and um and I I never had a problem. I don't think I ever had a problem r r losing saves. What was it? Like it, it was like a power surge that it could occasionally fucking like you know when you when you power it off does it surge the cart in a way that Occasionally cause it. I don't. I don't know what the the technical reason is, but but yes, this was a thing. A lot of and a lot of games had to say, "Hey, man, fucking hold in reset before you turn off the power, or you might lose your save." It was such a crazy. I forgot all about that, but yeah, that that was a thing. That's like, uh, you know, fuck blowing in the cartridges and people are like, "Do you remember when you had to blow the cards? Did you know that that really doesn't help?" And all the fucking, did you know fucking this shit about games? dot biz fucking tips about games that's the weird one the fucking hold in reset when you fucking turn the thing off to make sure that the battery backup doesn't explode or you know lose all your saves or whatever the fuck that's the weird one that's the one where you're like what anyway let's look at the list Dragon Warrior gives me good feeling. But when we strip away good feeling and think about hard science, it's, uh, it's a relatively story light game. It is a very early example of the form. Um, it is hard to go back to. That doesn't mean it's a bad game. Like I said, I, I, I love, I love that game. Um, but when we take it in comparison to other games on the platform and flatten things out, um, it goes from like the, like, well, clearly Dragon Warrior would be like a top 20 game or something to like, mm, mm, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. That said, I don't know, I, like, there's no, I don't know, some games you play them and you have an immediate, like, that's like a mid or, a mid or bottom, or, you know, like, I, I feel like I actually have to do, I kind of have to do the work here and, uh, and, and compare games directly until we find a, a, a proper spot for it. Um... Because, you know, yeah, it, it, the, the question from people is, is the legacy of a game irrelevant to its ranking? And it, it kind of has to be because otherwise you end up with like the same 
you know, this it might as well be a top 10, top 10 best NES games, like, you know, 90 second video on TikTok or something where they just took like, what are the biggest Google searched uh, franchises on this platform? And let's just say Castlevania is the best, you know, like it, it, you kind of, it, it, it's just, it's an SEO thing at that point. Um, it's not science at that point. Um, and I might expect that later Dragon Warrior games would be higher on the list. Um, I might even say, and, and, and this is, this is where it's going to get weird. This is where this, you know, like when we get into these role-playing games. So I don't like Final Fantasy one. I, I just fucking don't. I never have. I found it cumbersome. I found it, uh, a, just a giant pain in the ass. I did not especially like the art, all of that sort of stuff, but I feel somewhat confident in saying that when you compare it to Dragon Warrior, for as rough as Final Fantasy 1 is, this is probably still a better, it's probably a better game than that in some ways. Um, but personally, I, you know, Dragon, I'm, I'm a Dragon, I mean, I'm a fantasy star guy. I don't give a fuck about either of these, really. <laughs> but, I, but, you know, when it comes to NES role-playing games, I played Ultima and, uh, you know, the, the first two or three Dragon Warrior games. Whew, sorry. Um, but whatever. None of these gets us any closer to putting it on the list. Asking the hard questions is what gets it on the list here. Like, for example, is Dragon Warrior better or worse than Top Gun? It's a better game than Top Gun. It's a better game than Top Gun. It's better than Narc which is a shitty port. As much as I like Ring King, uh, it is better than Ring King. Certainly better than Bases Loaded. Uh, I love Ice Climber. If you asked me on the street, if you walked up to me on the street and said, what's a better game, Ice Climber or Dragon Warrior, I might just say Ice Climber. But scientifically speaking, I don't think that we can, I don't, I don't think that the science bears that out. <laughs> Um, you know, Dragon Warrior is better than Archon. It's better than Astyanax. Is Dragon Warrior better than Urban Champion? Hmm. He's just starting to get harder. He's just starting to get ever so, ever so slightly harder. But yes. Uh, is it better than Kid Icarus? Yes. Is it better than low G man, the low gravity man? <whistles> yes, it is. It's also better than muscle tag team match. It's better than Kabuki quantum fighter. Uh, but we're running out of road here. Is it better than Willow? Willow is neat. Willow is a really neat, you know, action-y role-playing. It's an action RPG. Um, I was taken aback by Willow because I, I did not, uh, I had not played, um, I had not played Willow, I think, prior to rating it for this series and was surprised by Willow. I found myself going back to Willow a little bit later, the day, later in the day uh, after that episode with a password for the end of the game, just to kind of see the late parts of Willow. And uh, I played the late parts of Willow and it was actually like, hmm, this part, this stuff kind of sucks. <laughs> um, like some of the end game stuff is actually kind of clunky. Um, is Dragon Warrior better than Gradius? That's an interesting question. I think Gradius is a really solid shooter. Um, Like I said, we're running out of road here. Is Dragon Warrior better than Gradius? Hmm. 
It's, uh, let's think about Dragon Warrior a little bit more here. Very basic. I mean, one might even, you know, if you, if you remove the time from it where, you know, cause you wouldn't call it this because it was very early, but in comparison to other role-playing games on this platform and certainly others. Dragon Warrior almost feels stripped down to its barest essentials. Relatively light on story. Very simple. But also clunky in weird ways. The movement feels bad. The movement feels straight up bad. Um, the menus are insane. <laughs> the menus in Dragon Warrior are nuts. They are, they are bad. Um, and that's of course something that would, would naturally improve, but that's, that's not what we're doing here. It's, it's, uh. I like a lot of things about Dragon Warrior, and like I said, in in my heart, it is uh, it's probably something of a top twenty game, top top ten franchise, whatever you know, whatever weird kind of label you want to put on it. I, I think it's and, and of course, again, the first game in an absolutely legendary franchise. But that's not what we're here. You know, this isn't. What's the most legendary franchise? Because then Urban Champion would be number one on the list. Um, with Goonies 2 right below it. The Goonies franchise of video games. Um, All right. Here's what we're going to do. It's going to go. Right there. And it is our new number 29. Congratulations to Enix for a top 30 NES game. Nice work over there. Um, yeah, that felt like the right amount of time to give that game. Um, I think, you know, in that particular case, because, uh, because I have played a, some a handful of chunks of Dragon Warrior a little bit over the last year or so, and uh, you know, am am familiar with the game. I probably could have put this on the list after about half an hour or forty five minutes. Um, but but I'm glad we took the time. Um, uh, because it it made it made a good test case for just like, hey, what what kind of time you know are we gonna for some of these strategy games or role-playing games, like there's some that I'm probably not really looking forward to if we're being totally honest, like any of the kind of Koei Nobunaga's ambition, any kind of, you know, uh, bandit kings of whatever, whatever. Like I, I'm not, I'm super not looking forward to that, but this is probably the format where those games will have to, will have to live. Um, But yeah, the, you know that this is you know, plenty of games we can rank seven or eight per episode in a three-hour chunk or something. But some of them obviously are going to be uh, longer and a little more in depth, and uh, and so maybe we'll occasionally kind of have to take these kind of side excursions to make sure that some of those games get uh, 
get the time they deserve. Some of them, you know, like Legacy of the Wizard, you don't need to play that for three hours. Roller games. Uh, yeah, that's a game you probably need to play for five or six hours to really understand it. Um, but uh, not all games need, need that, sort of, that sort of treatment. But I'm glad that we did this here. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably try to we'll, we'll slide in uh, some of these other games here. Uh, late at night when when time allows when, when it makes sense to do so i suppose also we reach a point where we need to get start getting more of these role-playing games on the list you don't want to save them all for last that's ridiculous <laughs> that would be a really that'd be a real downer if in a year and a half's time or however long it takes to rank all the other games it's like all right there we go there's another fucking forgettable fucking role-playing game uh yeah that'd be that'd be rough that'd be, that'd be rough um yes you're right no legacy of the wizard is not, legacy of the wizard is not a sensible game yeah it, it's i i had that game i think we bought that game i must have traded for it or something but i just uh, i found that to be an absolute miserable goddamn video game but we'll get to it eventually i i have been putting off doing legacy of the wizard because I don't want to bunch up all of the games that are like all these like legendarily terrible video games or whatever. Like, I think that's, that's kind of boring too. So, you know, you kind of want to stretch it all out, make sure that we got some good variety in here. I've been thinking, I thought about Mega Man for about a month before Mega Man made its way onto the list. And I will tell you now that since we did Mega Man one, I have been thinking a lot about Castlevania and, uh, perhaps we will put that on the list sooner rather than later maybe even this friday i don't know another game i've been thinking about for a lot longer than a month millens milens milens millens secret castle been thinking about that fucking game that fucking game um Anyway, if you want to suggest games for the list and guide me in a direction, you can uh, sign up over at Patreon. Join the Gerstmann Advisory Panel today uh, over at uh, patreon.com slash Jeff Gerstmann. And you can, uh, you can, you know, guide me down a path into whatever nightmarish hells you want to unleash. Star Tropics, for example. I don't, I don't have the invisible, I can't, I don't have the stuff to, to do that one, you know. Metal, metal gear. I don't, you know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, sign up for that. Or, you know, Hey, if you sign up at any tier, you get on the discord and it's action packed over there. There's a picture of Nestor over here. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Um, so come on along, sign up, hang out, come on through. There's a wrestling channel if you need if you if you need a place on the internet to talk about wrestling. There's also one for anime if you need one of those. I don't know. It, it, just you know, to choose your sickness. Uh, and of course, if video video games are discussed. I don't know. I don't know why you would do that. But um, anyway, should be back on Friday with a batch of uh, non uh, non role playing game games. I am just, I, because it came up recently and I am, I am fam just familiar enough with this game to know I have written down the word roller games here. So perhaps on Friday we will put roller games on the list. Is it better or worse than Captain Skyhawk? The ultimate question. We'll have to answer it. And, uh, and many others. We'll, we'll build a list of another uh, seven or eight games here and, uh, and, and see how it all goes. And in the meantime, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon.